Myth number one, male and female are the same. Do you know that you can go to an institution of higher learning today, pay $140,000, go into serious debt to learn the lie that men and women are the same? Men and women are not the same. We are not the same. And we are not the same to the glory of God. Number two myth, male and female can do the exact same things. Wrong. Anybody who has a brain knows this. Anybody who raises children knows this. Women and men from birth are programmed to do certain things, certain things they can do well, certain things they can do poorly, and they complement each other, and they should be valued for their differences, and then they should be raised biblically along the lines of those of those differences so that God can use the gifts that he has poured into those children for his purposes. We can't do, I cannot do with my kids what my wife can do. If she would ever pass away, by God's grace, it would never happen before me. I hope I go first, many, many decades from now. But if she ever passed away, my kids would suffer. I don't know how to nurture, I don't know how to love them like with kindness. I mean, I, I'm sorry, like this might offend some women, but I'm, I'm tough, I'm stern, I, uh, I overreact. This is part of my fail, failed uh, sinful nature. And, but my wife, she can come in, she can console, she can comfort, and we balance each other out to the glory of God. And I'm telling you, my children, they need her, they need me. We can't do the same thing. We've gotta stop thinking that all men can do what women do, and all men can do what all women can do what men do. It's just not true. It's, and we suffer with our resident gifts inside of us. And, and, and we don't prosper when we believe these myths. Number three, the genders don't need each other. This is kind of piggybacking off myth number two. We do need each other. The very first thing that God says about man, the very, very first thing after he gets done shaping Adam is he says, not good. It is not good that men should be, what? Alone, a man needs a woman. Poor Adam was running around in the garden, holding scissors with the cutters outward, hanging from the tree like a monkey, scratching himself openly everywhere. God's like, oy vey, because God's Jewish. <laughs> he needs a woman. And so the very first thing that God creates is a woman for the man. I remember in the 1990s, and some of you remember this, there was a show called Murphy Brown, and the star of that show decided that they wanted to take the script in a certain way where she would have a child without a father. Dan Quayle was vice president at the time, and he criticized vocally this idea that a woman should raise a child alone intentionally. Now it happens in many respects because the man leaves or the man doesn't show up or no. That's, that's a tragedy. But this was deliberate, intentional choice of raising a child without a father. And he was blasted. I mean, they ripped into Dan. How dare you say that? La, 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 la. I mean, they just killed the guy. I kid you not, two months ago, I read an article in the Atlantic Monthly. This is not a Christian publication, if you know the Atlantic at all. And there, here was the title of the article in the Atlantic. Dan Quayle was right. Here's the first, first sentence. The social science evidence is in. Though it may benefit the adults involved, the disillusion of intact two parent families is harmful to large numbers of children. I'm telling you this because we have got to wake up to the fact that though people might hate what God says every single time, God is right. And it's just a matter of time before culture catch us, catches up to the fact that God is right. This is why I will always preach to you what's in this book. Whether you like it or not, whether you agree or not, I'm really not concerned with whether you agree with God or not because it'll be just a matter of time before you realize that God was right and every man is a liar. It is his word. He is the truth. He's not just true. He's the truth. Amen, somebody.